Psalm 91 is often hailed as the most powerful prayer and chapter in the Bible for protection and breaking bonds. But why? Why is this psalm so powerful? This powerful chapter beautifully captures the nature of God's protection, which speaks directly to the deepest fears and challenges we all face. Therefore, Psalm 91 offers us not only comfort, but also a tangible sense of being shielded by God in every aspect of our lives. Imagine a shield, crafted by God Himself, surrounding you. A shield that neither sword nor arrow can penetrate. This is the protection offered in Psalm 91, a fortress against the trials and tribulations of life. Today, I will guide you through the layers of this psalm, unfolding its timeless wisdom and power. I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you. In the mighty name of Jesus, so watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. If you believe that God can make a difference in your life today, I urge you to commit to saying this powerful prayer on our daily Jesus devotional channel with faith for the next seven consecutive days. Those who have previously joined us fervently in our anointed prayers for seven days are getting extraordinary results. We can see the power of God moving mightily in their lives, and we give God all the glory for all the testimonies we will receive from those who will commit to saying this Psalm 91 prayer for seven days. We firmly believe that this prayer, rooted in the promises of Psalm 91, has the power to change your life. I encourage you to join us in this belief, to have faith in the transformative power of prayer as you lift your voice to God. Do so with the conviction that He hears and responds. Believe with us that through this special message and prayer, you can experience a profound shift in your circumstances, your mindset, and your spiritual journey. Let faith be the cornerstone of this prayerful experience and trust in the Lord's ability to bring about change in the most remarkable ways. Remember, as it is written in Mark 9, verse 23, Jesus said to him, If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. This powerful truth reminds us that faith opens the door to the limitless possibilities of God's power and provision. When we approach God in this prayer, Believing in His omnipotence and His willingness to act on our behalf, we align ourselves with His divine will. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and believe that with God, indeed, all things are possible. Let this assurance be the foundation of your prayers and the source of your strength. In this context, Let's also reflect on the essence of Psalm 91, which reinforces the power of belief in God's promises. This psalm is a testament to the security and protection afforded to those who place their trust in the Lord. It assures us that when we dwell in the shelter of the Most High and rest in the shadow of the Almighty, we are under the care of our sovereign God, for whom nothing is impossible. Psalm 91 does not just offer comfort. It is a declaration of God's omnipotent safeguarding of those who believe in Him. As you embrace the words of this psalm in your life and before we go to the Lord in prayer, let us embark on a journey of deep revelation and understanding. Open your hearts to the profound truths that Psalm 91 holds allowing its words to permeate our spirit and strengthen our faith. Psalm 91 gives us the assurance of God's protection. 
In the opening verses, we find an assurance of God's protection. The scripture says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him I will trust. This reminds us that our refuge and fortress is God Himself. This protection is not a mere concept, but a living, breathing reality for those who seek comfort in God. Reflect on the story of Daniel in the lion's den in Daniel 6. Here, Daniel, a man of unwavering faith, found himself facing certain death. Yet, in the midst of roaring lions, he was unharmed. This wasn't due to luck or coincidence. It was the manifestation of God's protection, a living example of Psalm 91 in action. As we seek shelter under God's wings, let's remember that His protection is comprehensive. It's not just physical safety, but also emotional and spiritual security. In our daily battles, whether they be against visible enemies or invisible struggles, the Almighty stands as our impenetrable shield. This promise of protection, however, comes with a condition. Dwelling in the presence of God. It's not a fleeting visit, but a constant, abiding presence in His sanctuary. In this divine dwelling place, fear loses its grip and faith takes its place. Therefore, my friends, let us strive to be like Daniel, unwavering in our faith, even in the face of life's fiercest lions. In our lives, we often seek protection in various forms, be it through financial security, relationships, advanced technology, or even our own intellect and strength. While these may offer a sense of safety, they are not comparable to the divine safeguarding we receive from God. Let's dwell in the secret place of the Most High, for in His presence we find the truest form of protection, one that is far beyond what any human effort or resource can offer. Psalm 91 offers deliverance from the snare of the fowler. In verse 3, we are assured, Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler, and from the perilous pestilence. The snare of the fowler symbolizes the hidden traps and sly tactics of our adversaries. Just as a fish swims unknowingly into a net, unaware of the imminent danger it represents, we too can be oblivious to the dangers and snares lurking in our path. Consider the story of Joseph and his brothers in Genesis 37. Joseph sold into slavery by his own brothers, faced the ultimate betrayal. Yet, this snare did not define his destiny. Through God's providence, Joseph rose from a slave to a ruler, playing a crucial role in God's plan. This verse reassures us that no matter how cunning the trap, God's deliverance is sure. He sees beyond our vision and understands the plots woven against us. Our task is to trust in His timing and plan, even when the way forward seems clouded in mystery. Deliverance from these snares is not merely about escaping danger. It's about emerging stronger, more resilient, and more aligned with God's purpose for our lives. Joseph's journey was not easy, but it was necessary for the fulfillment of his destiny. Therefore, my dear friends, let us take heart. The snares of life may be many, but our Deliverer is greater. As we navigate the challenges of life, let's do so with the confidence that comes from knowing that the Almighty is our ever-present help in times of trouble. Psalm 91 gives us comfort in God's faithfulness. Here, I am referring to God's faithfulness as our shield and buckler. This imagery is not just poetic. 
it is a profound truth about the nature of God's character. In verse 4 it says, He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler, reminding us that in a world where falsehoods and uncertainties abound, the truth of God stands as our unbreakable defense. Let us reflect upon the story of Ruth and Naomi in the book of Ruth. Here, we witness a profound example of faithfulness in Ruth's unwavering commitment to Naomi. Her steadfastness, mirrored by God's faithfulness to her, led to unexpected blessings and a place in the lineage of Jesus Christ. God's faithfulness is not passive. It is an active, powerful force that guides, protects, and sustains us. It is the assurance that no matter what we face, His promises remain unshaken. As we walk through life's valleys, let's hold tightly to this truth, for His faithfulness is our shield against despair, fear, doubt, and so much more. My friends, let us then be like Ruth in our devotion, not only to God, but also to one another. In doing so, we become conduits of His faithfulness, bringing hope and light into the lives of those around us. Also, in Psalm 91, we have the promise of angelic assistance. A remarkable promise found in Psalm 91 is the assurance of angelic intervention. Verse 11 tells us, He shall give His angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. This verse isn't a mere allegory. It's a declaration of the heavenly support given to those who dwell in God's presence. Consider the story of Peter's miraculous escape from prison. In Acts 12, bound in chains, guarded by soldiers and facing certain death, Peter found himself liberated by an angel of the Lord. This wasn't a random act of kindness. It was the fulfillment of the promise of Psalm 91 in Peter's life. The knowledge that angels are commissioned to guard us in all our ways should fill us with confidence and peace. It doesn't mean we won't face challenges but it assures us of divine companionship and intervention in our times of need. Therefore, my dear friends, let us walk with the awareness of this celestial guardianship. In moments of fear and uncertainty, let us remind ourselves that we are never alone, for God's angels are always at our side, guiding and protecting us. Psalm 91 assures us of victory over the lion and the cobra. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra. The young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. We see this powerful declaration in Psalm 91, verse 13. This is a powerful metaphor for overcoming the most formidable and dangerous challenges in life. The lion, with its strength, and the cobra, with its stealth and venom, represent the varied forms of adversities we may encounter. Think about the story of David and Goliath in 1 Samuel 17. David, a young shepherd, faced a giant that had terrorized an entire army. Armed with faith and a sling, David conquered not just Goliath, but also the fear that had paralyzed his people. This verse reassures us that with God, we are equipped to overcome any obstacle, no matter how fierce or intimidating it may seem. Our victories, like David's, may seem unlikely to the world, but with God, they become testimonies of His power and our faith. So, my friends, let us face our lions and cobras with the courage of David. Let us remember that in God's strength, we are more than conquerors, capable of overcoming the greatest of life's challenges. We have the assurance of answered prayers in Psalm 91, verse 15. 
declares. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. This verse is not just a promise, but an assurance of a two-way communication with God. It affirms that when we call upon him, he not only hears, but responds. Reflect on the story of Hannah in 1 Samuel 1. Desperate for a child, she poured out her heart to God in prayer. Her prayers were not in vain. They reached the ears of the Almighty, and she was blessed with Samuel. Hannah's story is a testament to the power of prayer and God's attentive nature to our pleas. This verse should give us courage to approach God with our needs, fears, and desires. It reminds us that in times of trouble, God is not a distant observer, but an active participant in our struggles, ready to deliver and honor those who seek Him. Let us, therefore, be like Hannah, persistent and faithful in our prayers. Let's take our concerns to God, knowing that He listens, responds, and acts on behalf of those who trust in Him. Psalm 91 also promises long life and salvation. In verse 16, the Lord says, With long life I will satisfy Him and show Him my salvation. This is not just a promise of extended years, but a life filled with the richness and fulfillment of God's presence. Consider the story of Moses. His life was not just long in years, but rich in experiences with God. From the burning bush to the parting of the Red Sea, Moses' life exemplified what it means to live in close communion with God. His journey was marked by challenges, but also by incredible encounters with God's saving power. This verse invites us to view our lives, not just in terms of length, but also in terms of depth and quality. It's about living a life that is deeply connected with God, experiencing His salvation in every aspect of our existence. As we aspire to a life like Moses, let us cherish each day as an opportunity to experience God's presence and salvation. Let's live in a way that aligns with His will, and in doing so, find the true satisfaction and fulfillment that comes from a life lived in His service. My dear friends, Psalm 91 is not just a collection of verses. It is a manual for living under God's protection, guidance, and love. Let us take these words to heart, applying them to our lives with faith. And now, as promised, let us join together in this powerful prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, believing that as we pray, God will meet us in our needs, protect and deliver us, guide us and show us His salvation. To all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God, Heavenly Father, the Almighty God, the Creator of heaven and earth. I lift up your name, exalting you above all else, for you are the source of all strength and comfort. You are the Most High my shelter in time of storm, and my fortress in the face of the enemy. You are the King of all kings and the Lord of all lords. Your power knows no bounds, and your wisdom is infinite. I magnify your holy name, O Lord, for you are worthy of all glory and honor. I give thanks for your endless mercies and blessings in my life and in the lives of my loved ones. Thank you for your unfailing love and faithfulness. Forgive me, Lord, for the times I have fallen short of your glory. Forgive my trespasses and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. 
Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. And I also forgive those who have wronged me. In the name of Jesus, I bind every force that stands against your will for my life. I rebuke all forms of darkness and every plan of the enemy that is intended to derail me from my destiny. I stand firm in the authority of Jesus Christ, declaring victory over every challenge and obstacle. Lord, I pray for your divine protection. You are my refuge and my fortress. You are my God, in whom I trust. Deliver me, Lord, from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. Deliver me from all sickness, from pain, disorders, discomfort, and from all diseases. Cover me with your feathers, and under your wings let me find refuge. Let your faithfulness be my shield and buckler. I shall not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at my side, and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come near me. With my eyes I shall look and see the reward of the wicked, and you shall prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. No evil shall befall me, nor shall any plague come near my dwelling, because I have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, my dwelling place. No evil shall befall me, for you, Lord, shall give your angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways. In their hands they shall bear me up lest I dash my foot against a stone. I shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent I shall trample underfoot. Because I have set my love upon you, therefore you will deliver me. You will set me on high, because I have known your name. I will call upon you, and you will answer me. You will be with me in trouble for you are my very present help. Lord, I am grateful that you will deliver me and honor me, giving me peace in my mind and joy in my spirit. With long life, you will satisfy me and show me your salvation. I hold firm to the promises of Psalm 91, knowing that your love and protection Encompass me at all times. I declare prosperity in all that I do, wisdom in my decisions, and peace and love in my relationships. Lord, let these blessings overflow in my life and in the lives of my loved ones. I pray for my loved ones, that they will experience your love and protection as it is promised in Psalm 91. May your favor and grace be upon us in all our ways. Merciful Father, as I say this prayer, together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is humbled before you right now. We come in agreement as we pray for each other, united in faith and love. Bless us, O Lord, as a community of believers. We stand upon your promises of Psalm 91. Let us be a testament to your grace and power. For each of us, let your Holy Spirit guide our paths. We declare that we will tread upon the enemy, overcoming the trials and temptations of life. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. In the name of Jesus, we declare that the bonds of fear and anxiety are broken, just as you promise to be our refuge and fortress. In your presence, may we experience your peace that surpasses all understanding. We declare that the chains of addiction are shattered, because under your wings 
we find refuge and strength. Your truth is our shield and buckler, guiding us away from harmful habits and leading us towards paths of righteousness and wholeness. Lord, you are our provider and deliverer. Free us from the burdens of financial hardship, scarcity, and lack, reflecting your promise to deliver those who love and honor your name. We declare healing for the sick, strength for the weary, and hope for the discouraged. We ask for healing of broken relationships. Lord, send your healing and restoration into our relationships, mending what has been broken and restoring what has been lost. Release us from the grip of past mistakes, bad decisions and regrets. In the shadow of the Almighty, let us find forgiveness and redemption. We are grateful that, as we call upon you, you will answer us and deliver us, freeing us from the bondage of our past. In all these things, Lord, we claim the victory, protection, and deliverance that Psalm 91 promises. We stand firm in the assurance that no harm will overtake us or our loved ones. No disaster will come near our tent, for you command your angels concerning us to guard us in all our ways. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forevermore. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you were blessed by this message and prayer, type the word Amen in the comment section below. You can help us to reach more persons and spread the gospel. You can do this by sharing the video with a friend or family member who you know needs the blessing of this prayer and by clicking the like button. Also remember to subscribe to our channel Daily Jesus Devotional for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. We appreciate all those who support us. You're blessed to be a blessing. My friends, let us remind ourselves of the words in James 5. Verse 16, the effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. This instruction is not just a call to prayer, but a call to fervent, consistent prayer. Therefore, I urge you to commit to saying this powerful Psalm 91 prayer fervently on our channel with faith for the next seven consecutive days. And why do we do this? Our channel has received thousands of testimonies from our previous faith-filled seven-day challenges, just like this one. Those who join us fervently in our anointed prayers for seven days are getting extraordinary results. We can see the power of God moving mightily in their lives. To God be all the glory. I extend our heartfelt gratitude to those who have taken the time to share their beautiful testimonies with us. As you engage in this prayer, I encourage you to do so with expectation. Stand with us in faith. Pray with the belief that as you call upon the Lord, He will answer you, just as Psalm 91 promises. After you have prayed, I invite you to return and share your testimonies. We believe in faith that there will be many testimonies of God's protection, provision, deliverance, and peace as a result of praying this anointed prayer, as instructed. Remember, as you do this, embrace the promise that a fervent prayer avails much. Your stories of faith and God's faithfulness will not only uplift your spirit, but will also be a beacon of hope and encouragement to others. Let us embark on a journey of deep revelation and understanding. 
please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comments section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory. Also, we invite other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world to join us and start praying for you right now. And we want you to know that even if you don't see a reply to your prayer request, it doesn't mean that you were not prayed for. Rest assured that we are actively lifting up each request to God that is in accordance with His will. We believe in the power of prayer to bring comfort, healing, and guidance in accordance with God's perfect plan. Stand in faith with us while we pray. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.